All right guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, me and Chris are gonna be heading to a local house here in our small town that's allegedly haunted. So we're definitely gonna go test out our equipment there and see what activity we do get. And it's for sure, do a spirit box session and use the Spirit Talker app. But yeah, supposedly this house, I believe she's seen like little boy spirits, footsteps, knocking, all that good stuff, you know, that just relates to ghost activity, I guess you could say, but yeah. We're gonna go investigate this house and see if we get any activity. So hope you guys stick around, enjoy the video. So I'll catch you guys. All right, so as of right now we have, oh, cat ball. Yeah, they're in the, the big bag. Have you guys seen cat balls in action too? <laughs> I'm kind of afraid to ask what that is. <laughs> Have you? Okay, okay. Well, I watched a video. What was it? Uh, the little cat balls. The balls that... They're so, like, whenever you turn them on. Um, so, Wait, like... Did you get the one in the front pocket or what? No, I haven't. Okay. They just light up like that. So, we could put it somewhere. And it'll shut off eventually. But if it has any physical touch or anything like that, it's going to light up just like how it is now. So, it pretty much just... I'm kind of surprised it hasn't shut off yet. So it's almost like saying, I'm like, telling you, this house is weird. It's, it's almost saying something like sit in there in that spot right now because it should have went off by now. And just just for, let's see, like now it went off now. So normally they'll just go, like, kind of sink for a little bit. And then, you know, after a little while, they'll end up shutting off. And then every once in a good while, like, we'll just ask if there's, you know, a spirit with us, uh, if they could set up one of our devices or specifically, like, a cat ball or the flashlight that's sitting right behind over there or the rim pod or anything that we're utilizing at the time or of course our EVP deal that we have here to make it spike every once in a good while we'll get it to where like it you know it goes off so it just pretty much tells us like something is in that specific area yeah, it goes off like every hour every right? hour yeah yeah, yeah. 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 We yeah. Can see me on the front porch. Did you did you get that on? So you can. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I hopefully got it, but like, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm like, yeah, just to like uh, a, 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 <laughs> so you know what it was, <laughs> right? And if we got something, that might be it. So I mean, we could put one kind of like in every that room. Would honestly, like trip me out at 3 a.m. or something. Yeah, it would honestly. <laughs> The, the later at night it gets, the lower the, the, the lower is. Oh, does it? Yeah. Uh, I'm probably going to put one inside here too, one of these cat balls. We'll put this one just right on this desk in here. So we still, yeah, like when the light, cat balls when the light goes I'm off. Do what? I'm just going to tell them you brought cat balls over. Who? Make them wonder. Like, oh, the go, our, yeah, our friends, the friends. About it. Okay, so we'll just kind of just hang out in this room. Um, and we'll just turn off all the lights and then of course got a REM pod set up over there uh, If you haven't seen our REM pod actually work what this actually does is I'll bring it over here Yeah, so it's it just makes a bunch of different colors So like how this guy works here is when there's nothing around it should just silence itself Usually when it lights up red like that. It's a, a temperature change like it's telling me right now like it went from cold to hot Pretty much. So, like right now, it's saying it's hot in this area. Because I'm hot. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. But in order for like this to work, and you know, like if we have like a spirit with us, we try to ask it to touch the antenna, and then whatever direction it touches the antenna, it will light up that specific That's like how they. Those colors work. Are yeah. New? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So just technically, like whatever direction it comes from, it's going to try to light up that specific area, or should try to light up that area. So that's pretty much like how that will technically work. And then of course the flashlight being over there, um, that's the simple one to where I might have Geo adjust that because I'm not too good on setting the flashlight, um, but Geo's a little bit better at setting that one up. So if there is a spirit still here with us at this moment, do you mind touching that flashlight one more time for us just to power it back on so we know that you're here with us? Thank you. We appreciate that. Did it turn back on? Mm -hmm. Most definitely. And, now went back off. and then went back off. We appreciate that. Thank you for answering our question today. This is pretty much saying like you're welcome. Because it goes off and goes back on. That's awesome. So now I'm it's shutting back off. I'm probably going to start the, the spirit talker. The spirit talker? Yeah, yeah, most definitely. And of course, what he has on his phone over here is called a spirit talker. 
So if you're familiar with like an ovulus, it just pretty much just feeds words into a device and it spits out a word to where the spirits could pick out from a vocabulary word and then it pretty much just speaks out of what it's thinking or what it's trying to say. So a lot of the times, unfortunately, we've been getting a lot of demons, per se, for every investigation we've been to, but we think it's just more of the spirits trying to scare us out of the locations. They, they shouldn't do it here, and you shouldn't, you shouldn't get demons. And I don't, yeah, I don't think those demons come around here. Yeah, and that's, that's good. Nothing but good spirits here. That's great. And they're happy with us. I mean, and like you said, it's a, you feel like it's a depot, so, you know, having a good spirit come through, and as I say, it's a depot. It shuts off, so that's awesome. Um, you want to go ahead and shut the light and see the light, because then we'll be able to see, like, the different uh, cat balls go off if, you know, there is any. I have a cat ball set up in that room on the desk. Cat ball in this chair and a cat ball in the hallway from the restroom come <coughs> coming towards the dining room. So then of course the rim pod that is just sitting right on top of uh, the desk. I might end up moving that like towards the ground and seeing if uh, we could possibly get something to to touch that specific rim pod today. Because that's the one I'm really excited to try to get to go off today is the rim pod because we've always been getting like heat temperature changes and, and things like that. Like and then constantly, yeah, constantly playing with that flashlight. And then, of course, we have our spirit box. And the spirit box, of course, is just, you know, white noise traveling through channels. Um, so we'll go ahead and turn this guy on. Oh, the flashlight. I want the power. There we go. Wrong side. I'm really here. I'm really here. So it repeats it saying, like... So as long as the light is green, right? Yes, yes, I think so. Right. So you're really here. Is that you playing with the flashlight over there? So we do have multiple devices inside this room today. You're more than welcome to play with any of the devices. We got multiple here, cat actually. balls and we got multiple rim pod or one rim pod. Do you mind if we stay here and talk with you today? You guys are more than welcome to ask questions as well. If you guys have any questions you guys want to ask, and maybe we could kind of get like some additional answers too. I'd just like to know if you're happy here. Okay. We've done well by you. Most you definitely. Because we try. So she asked if you guys are happy here. If you guys are truly happy here, do you mind possibly setting off one of the devices or even shutting off that flashlight that you've been playing with or even utilizing uh, this device? So. I would say, yeah, they're happy here since so. they definitely shut off the flashlight. Kind of like, like you're welcome type deal, yeah. So we have a spirit talker here in our hand. Do you know anybody by the name of Lucy? Lucy. Lucy. The only one I know is that the dog next door. Well, Lucy was the dog next door, but it was also Steve's mother that died when him and I first got together. But I wasn't around it very much, but that's the way he's used to talk to people. Sound like I said preach. Sound like maybe from the rest of the radio station. Maybe saying preach. Did it say preach? I think it said preach. Well, there was a discrepancy. If, uh, when I first moved in here, if a priest lived here and died. Here. And then the flashlight shut off as you said that as well. Wasn't that something like where he was at, something where that spot was in the hallway? It seemed like one of the, the girls had come up with that, but that might have been there was something that happened to him there. Not particularly passed away there, but. No, that would be on the back porch. Okay, well, I thought it was. Well, in the hallway was that the and girl with the white like, bloody dress on. Okay, see, I missed some of that, I think. But there's, oh, cool. there's definitely violence that happened on the back porch. Oh, really? Yeah. On the back porch? Yeah. Like like on the porch itself, but over by, more by where you go. You start going downstairs, you uh -huh. go downstairs, but right there. Okay. Is what they were saying. I don't sure, know. sure. Amelia. Amelia. So is Amelia your name? Or is this, w what about Amelia? Could you tell us more information about Amelia? So far we got two names, Lucy and Amelia. Flashback's going off over there. If Lucy or Amelia is here today, do you mind possibly trying to play with this REM pod device 
all you have to do is basically touch it just like this and it'll let us know that you're here is that something you could do for us to show us how powerful you are Like it's taking up like the words. Oh, Jesus. Oh, she got Oh, Jesus. Okay, it's okay. I don't think that was the energy going there. You should dig here. You should dig here. So I'm wondering if, like how you were saying in the back by the garage, um, like how someone said there's something underneath there. He didn't say what it was, but he just said you'll find something underneath there. Right. Why? She found. So I guess we could ask something about like what's what's there specifically, or what? Yeah. So, wh where should we dig, and what what is underneath there? Could you possibly tell us what we will find if we were to dig here? Is that the full volume, or what? I think so. Well, you might have to shut it off and then like like resubmit it, like turn the volume up and then start it again. I just think it does go wild, louder because it says at 30. Shut it off and then it should be allegedly louder. Wow. Wow. That's like, like wow. And light shut and turns it back on, shuts back off. It says wow. Are, are you amazed that we could hear you and we could communicate with you, to you with these devices we are communicating with? Do you know what the code word is? I was killed. Danger. Danger. Found out. Danger. Either that, or if I tell it says I was killed, and you know, and then after that just said danger. So, are you saying we're in danger? Or are we safe here? Read about it. I haven't been practicing Yeah, we do have a bit ago. Oh, do you? Yeah. We don't use from here. From New Orleans. But that's protection of the house. Right. So, what's going to be happening soon? What are you referring to as soon? Sarah. Sarah, with an H. What was the little boy's name you said it was here? Not the, no, uh, it was Jonah, Jonah, because I remembered the time I was in the, the comic book Jonah Hicks. So I remember, that's how I remembered it. So ask where he was at. So is, is Jonah possibly still here with us? Could you let us know if Jonah is still here or, or has he moved on? She killed us. Are you referring to Sarah that killed you? Is that what you're saying? Since the last name you gave us was Sarah and then because, because she killed us. Because if I'm not mistaken, you asked if anybody was, of course, killed here and it said potentially, then it said polite and then soon, and then Sarah because she killed us. How many are here? at any given time. Sarah. I really like that name Sarah. That's the second time it said Sarah, but this time it's Sarah without the H. Never really determined that. <laughs> right? <laughs> right. Because she ended up on Sarah with an H. <laughs> it said, it said here with a question mark. Here with a question mark? Here. Here? here? Oh, yeah. like here. With a question mark, yeah. Really? Never seen it do a question mark like it's asking a question like here. Because it said anywhere and then here with a question mark. Evelyn. We've been getting that name quite a bit, actually. Evelyn. So, like. Evelyn Zimmerman. I just what I was gonna say. She just died. Really oh, really? We grew up a couple weeks ago. Yeah, we grew up with him. We still see her daughter and do things with her daughter. Oh. 
point, you don't know if they have to stay for so long or they can go wherever they want or whatever. Right. I don't want to scare you. You're more than welcome to scare us, but make it a friendly scare. We come in peace and we mean no harm. We heard you're a friendly ghost, so why would you want to scare us? Little boy around Little boy around you. Little boy around you. Again. Mm -hmm. What's his name? I don't want to scare you, little boy around you. That was that him. That was him. Are you saying you showed yourself? Just one of us? Are you is that what you're trying to say? Or are you trying to say that was a little boy around us? Are you saying that's him playing with the flashlight over there? Wanna try the basement or what? You wanna go try the basement? Yeah, we can. Yeah, that's fine. Can we go down to the basement real quick? Let's see what kind of activities we get down there. It actually feels pretty good down here. What Check. was that noise? What was it? You didn't hear that? No, -uh. what did it sound like? Was up the stairs? Like that? What? Like that? Like what? Like the creek? Yeah, it was like, well, I don't know if it was like by the door or what. Jesus, you can literally, or I don't know if it came from outside. Or so we're now here in the basement. I got a couple of cat balls. No, I was just saying the red pod Hear set there. Hear us whisper. We have the spirit box here with us. Can we hear you whisper through the spirit box? Well, once again, you're more than welcome to touch any of these devices we have on Star's bed over here. Just touch the cat ball and it'll set it Cabin. off. Cabin? Or once again, you could touch the rim pod that's over on the floor over here. I don't get anything from here, but when I was over here, like it was mad talking over here. Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Play. Play. Play? Can you come play with this cat ball, Ezekiel? Can you do what I just did and touch that Ezekiel? If you are Ezekiel, thank you. Thank you for setting that off for us. We greatly appreciate that. So apparently you have an Ezekiel. Just for confirmation, Ezekiel, to show your power. Could you possibly hit that one more time for us? So we could play? Or at least let me know on a spirit talk what type of play you want to play. Do you want to play hide and seek? If that's what you want to play, could you cut, touch that cat ball again for us? suddenly right did you hear it again or what no I heard it like it was like a, a chair moving wasn't it yeah Kinda something like, like that yeah yeah I heard it too but it came behind that window right there right behind you because you probably want to be moving up there with you uh, over on that side like, the same place where, and, like, in two years, you be gone. Uh-huh. You can hear it at a couple of steps over here by the front door, and I think, oh, she's gone. 
and but then she won't there'd be nothing in here. This floor is all just open. And then you could hear it like she was going into the kitchen. Uh huh. And she was not there. She was in her home. So I was like, okay, they're walking around. I, swear, I heard it right behind you, too. Was that you heard, that we heard, Ezekiel? Was that you making that noise? Was that the noise that was right behind Gio? Sit and listen. Sit and listen. Maybe if we turn off the spirit box now? So, you, yeah, we can. Unless it's trying to say listen through the spirit box. Like sit and listen to the spirit box. Yeah. Is that what you want to do? Could you confirm that for us? Do you want us to sit and listen to the spirit box? Or do you want us to sit and listen in silence? Stop and see what it means. See if we can listen to anything since it said sit and listen. I prefer to stand. Not much of a sitter. Or the dog. Right there. There are demons. Are you just trying to scare us? We know that this is a friendly depot. Do you just want us out of here? Do you not like our presence here today? Do you just want to be left in peace with Star and Tiny? If that's what you want, do you want to set off this cat ball again over here on the bed? To be left in peace and silence? Glenn. Glenn, Glenn. Mm -hmm. G L E N N, Glenn, Oliver, but we're having a party here Oliver. again. Oliver, yeah, those are people we know, family really? members, but they're not, not bad deceased, bad. yeah. Mm -hmm. Glenn and Oliver, we will touch you. I think you already have been. If that's what you say and you're making contact and you will touch me, feel free to touch me, but you cannot attach to me. Where would you like to touch me? want to touch my hair I know it's beautiful Gio's hair he has better hair Penelope Penelope yeah right is that Penelope that wants to touch us Something comes across there that I'm thinking of. It better not. Uh oh. <laughs> We're gonna have taco exchange. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah. Penelope. It sounds hot. They say. Should we go back upstairs in or what? You want to? Yeah, probably. All right. Yeah, we can go back up. Did you get that? Yeah. It said we. I affect the animals. I affect the animals. Yeah. And I ended up. He's, I kind of grabbed his hand like right here. Uh huh. And he tried to, you know, jerk away like he's saying, oh, it's okay, it's okay. And he just, just relaxed again. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I went to sleep, so it was like, because I don't consider that really being touched, I guess, because I'm not really for sure if I was wide awake or not. Sure, sure. But I thought I was. <laughs> Could have been just like sleeping and then. It gets lonely. It gets You're lonely. You're telling me. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me how that basement, son. <laughs> Do you have any fun up here? Nothing. No? No fun? Yeah, Just a flashlight going off and on? <laughs> we had Zeke downstairs. <laughs> he had the cat ball off. I think it was Zeke. Ezekiel. Yeah. I'm just talking about like... Yeah, we had an Ezekiel short, and short a Penelope. Zeke. And I said, well, he's called Charlie Zeke all the time. And my little 
Well, there's a shitload of names that went through. Oh, honey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there were still more, and not a one oh, yeah. double. Because there was one, a, a Glenn, an Oliver, a Florence, and then the last one is Penelope. Okay, that would be the Devo. Mm -hmm. And then, as we were coming up, we got a message that says, I affect the animals. Yeah. And then when we were coming around the corner, it says, it gets lonely. So what, now we're heading home? In separate whips or what? That fucking sting in Destiny or what? <laughs> My god. Go follow. It said there are demons. There are demons? Yeah, and that was while we were up in the basement. So this was like just more than our standard single demon multiple demons it's allegedly it's with an S it's plural fourth or fifth location so I mean the third fourth fourth well technically fourth I guess because we did the hospital twice so yeah next video is really gonna be like our first top haunted location that we're ever gonna film and probably the what the most haunted place here in Kansas yeah, I would say possibly. So keep on enjoying the videos and we'll catch you guys in the next one.